Installing dimmer switches in a four-way switch arrangement is possible through a couple of common methods. Firstly, there is the method using a four-way dimmer switch module. This method necessitates the installation of a specialized four-way dimmer switch module within one of the switch boxes. This module serves as the primary control unit for all the switches in the four-way configuration. The remaining three switches are then substituted with three-way companion switches, designed to transmit signals to the central dimmer switch module. With this setup, you gain comprehensive dimming control accessible from any of the four switch locations. Secondly, there is the method utilizing a master dimmer switch in conjunction with slave dimmers. This approach entails setting up a master dimmer switch in one of the switch boxes, accompanied by slave dimmers in the remaining three boxes. The master dimmer assumes the role of governing the lighting levels, while the slave dimmers act as receivers responding to signals dispatched by the master unit. It's important to note that with this method, dimming control is primarily centralized at the location of the master dimmer switch. However, this option often presents a more budget-friendly alternative when compared to employing a dedicated four-way dimmer switch module. Before embarking on any installation endeavors, it's strongly advisable to seek guidance from a certified electrician, particularly given the potential complexity of the wiring involved. Furthermore, it is imperative to ensure that the selected dimmers and switches exhibit compatibility with one another and adhere to the electrical specifications dictated by the lighting fixtures being utilized. When dealing with electrical circuits, safety is paramount. Always turn off the power at the breaker before working on any wiring. Use appropriate safety gear such as insulated gloves and eye protection. Double check all connections to ensure they are secure and properly insulated. When selecting a four-way dimmer switch module, ensure that it is rated for the appropriate wattage and voltage of your lighting circuit. Check the product specifications to verify that it is compatible with your specific type of lighting such as incandescent, light-emitting diode, or compact fluorescent. Follow the manufacturer's instructions carefully when installing the dimmer module. Typically, this involves identifying the line, load, and traveler wires in the existing switch box and connecting them to the corresponding terminals and the dimmer module. The three-way companion switches should also be connected according to the manufacturer's instructions. These switches essentially act as remote controls for the dimmer module allowing you to adjust the brightness from multiple locations. When using a master dimmer switch and slave dimmers, you will need to identify the master dimmer switch location. This is typically the switch box that has the incoming power supply. The master dimmer switch will control the overall brightness of the lights, while the slave dimmers will simply mirror the settings of the master dimmer. The slave dimmers are connected to the master dimmer using traveler wires. These wires carry the control signals between the master and slave dimmers. The wiring configuration for this type of setup can be more complex than using a four-way dimmer switch module, so it is important to carefully follow the manufacturer's instructions and consult with an electrician if you are unsure about any of the connections. When connecting the wires to the dimmer switches, use wire connectors that are appropriate for the gauge of the wires. Make sure the connections are tight and secure to prevent loose wires or arcing. Proper grounding is also essential for safety. Ensure that all dimmer switches and metal boxes are properly grounded according to local electrical codes. Once you have completed the wiring, Carefully tuck the wires back into the switch boxes and secure the dimmer switches to the boxes. Install the switch plates and turn the power back on at the breaker. Test the dimmer switches to ensure that they are working properly. Verify that you can adjust the brightness of the lights from all switch locations. If you encounter any problems, turn off the power and double check your wiring connections. If you are still unable to resolve the issue, consult with a qualified electrician. In addition to the two main methods, there are also other options for installing dimmer switches in a four-way switch arrangement. For example, you can use a smart dimmer switch that can be controlled wirelessly via a smartphone or voice assistant. These smart dimmer switches typically require a neutral wire connection and may also require a compatible hub or bridge. Another option is to use a rotary dimmer switch, which allows you to adjust the brightness by turning a knob. 
Rotary dimmer switches are typically used with incandescent bulbs and may not be compatible with light emitting diode or compact fluorescent bulbs. When choosing a dimmer switch, consider the type of bulbs you will be using. Light emitting diode and compact fluorescent bulbs require dimmers that are specifically designed for these types of bulbs. Using a standard dimmer switch with light emitting diode or compact fluorescent bulbs can cause flickering or buzzing. You should also consider the wattage of the bulbs you will be using. Dimmer switches have a maximum wattage rating and you should not exceed this rating. If you are using multiple bulbs, add up the wattage of all the bulbs to determine the total wattage. When replacing an existing switch with a dimmer switch, it is important to identify the wires correctly. The black wire is typically the hot wire, the white wire is the neutral wire, and the green or bare wire is the ground wire. If you are unsure about the wiring, use a voltage tester to identify the hot wire. Turn off the power at the breaker before using a voltage tester. Once you have identified the wires, connect them to the corresponding terminals on the dimmer switch. The hot wire is typically connected to the terminal marked line or hot. The neutral wire is typically connected to the terminal marked neutral or white. The ground wire is typically connected to the terminal marked ground or green. If you are installing a dimmer switch in a metal box, you may need to use a metal grounding clip to connect the ground wire to the box. This will ensure that the box is properly grounded. After you have connected the wires, carefully tuck them back into the switch box and secure the dimmer switch to the box. Install the switch plate and turn the power back on at the breaker. Test the dimmer switch to ensure that it is working properly. If you encounter any problems, turn off the power and double check your wiring connections. Remember that working with electricity can be dangerous. If you are not comfortable working with electricity, consult with a qualified electrician. They can safely install dimmer switches in your four-way switch arrangement and ensure that your wiring meets all local electrical codes. Understanding the basic principles of electricity can be helpful when working on electrical projects. Voltage is the electrical potential difference between two points in a circuit. It is measured in volts. Current is the flow of electrical charge through a circuit. It is measured in amps. Resistance is the opposition to the flow of current. It is measured in ohms. Ohm's law states that voltage equals current times resistance. This can be written as volts equals amps times ohms. Electrical power is the rate at which electrical energy is transferred. It is measured in watts. Power equals voltage times current. This can be written as watts equals volts times amps. When choosing a dimmer switch, it is important to consider the power rating of the switch and the power consumption of the lights that will be connected to it. The power rating of the switch must be greater than or equal to the power consumption of the lights. If the power rating of the switch is less than the power consumption of the lights, the switch may overheat and fail. It is also important to consider the type of load that will be connected to the dimmer switch. Some dimmer switches are designed for use with resistive loads, such as incandescent lights. Other dimmer switches are designed for use with inductive loads, such as motors. If you connect an inductive load to a dimmer switch that is designed for use with resistive loads, the switch may overheat and fail. The National Electrical Code, or NEC, provides guidelines for safe electrical installations. It is important to follow the NEC when working on electrical projects. The NEC covers topics such as wiring methods, grounding, overcurrent protection, and equipment installation. Article 310.15 of the NEC covers opacity of conductors. Opacity is the maximum current that a conductor can carry continuously under specific conditions of use without exceeding its temperature rating. The opacity of a conductor depends on its size, insulation type, and the ambient temperature. Table 310.16 of the NEC provides ampacity ratings for various types of conductors. Article 210.21 of the NEC covers the use of overcurrent protection devices. Overcurrent protection devices, such as circuit breakers and fuses, are designed to protect electrical circuits from overloads and short circuits. The overcurrent protection device must be sized to protect the conductors in the circuit. Article 250 of the NEC covers grounding. Grounding is the connection of electrical equipment to the earth. 
Grounding helps to protect people from electrical shock and to prevent damage to equipment. Electrical codes are put into place for safety reasons. It is important to follow all codes when working with electricity. Always disconnect power before beginning any work. Seek out a qualified electrician if any problems arise.